Hi Hector and everyone with Hector and Sons Painters. This is Rachel. Thanks for clicking on this video. So I'm just going to quickly go over some things we can do with your website here, get it updated, start getting you guys ranking higher in Google and bringing you in more business that way. So let's get started. So I've got your website up here. I really like your logo right up here at the top. Um, I would also add your phone number up here really big somewhere, just a click to call. That's easy. As soon as people open up your website, it's just right there and readily available. Um, you can also do a call to action. So if you guys do any sort of free quotes or free estimates or anything like that, you can get that added up here too. Now, as we scroll down through your website, it looks like maybe we've got a little bit about you guys and some of the stuff that you do. We've got your gallery here, which is always nice. Um, yeah, and so we could get some testimonials and reviews added to this homepage as well. Um, the gallery is really nice to have on here. Down here in the footer, we've got your contact information, which is great. Different links to your pages, which is always nice. You guys speak a couple of different languages. That's nice to have on there as well. What you can add right here is some links to the different services that you offer too. Um, but what Google really cares about on this homepage is the content. And they want to see you sitting at about a 1,500 to 2,000 word mark of quality content on this homepage. Now, in addition to that content, they want to see buyer intent keywords sprinkled throughout it. So that can include things like house painter, mesa, different things like that sprinkled throughout that content because what happens is when people are searching through Google for your services, Google's going to send crawlers through your website to read through that authoritative content on there and it's going to look for these keywords and phrases that are matching what people are searching for. Now the next thing that we're going to talk about here is backlinks. The tool that I use to check out backlinks is called Eris. Now a backlink is just a shout out from another website that lets Google know that your website is trustworthy and relevant. So what we're going to look at here is this UR and this DR rating. The UR is your trust rating. The DR rating is your power rating with Google. Now these are influenced by your backlinks and the backlinks are going to come from referring domains. So as we can see here, currently you don't have any backlinks at all. So your UR and DR rating isn't available. But we definitely want these numbers to be high and we want them to be closer. So I put in one of the top competitors in the area, Mesa Painting Pros, into Arifs as well. And so as we can see, their trust rating is 25 and their power rating is less than 1. And they've got 430 backlinks. So that's letting us know that these backlinks are not all trustworthy, relevant, or powerful. Not all backlinks are created equal. Um, in addition... I just want to check out, so we've got 14 keywords for you guys, organic keywords, and they've got over a thousand. You can always go through these organic keywords too and see what they've got. And so by updating the content, the keywords, and then getting some of those um, powerful backlinks and relevant backlinks on your site, it's going to help you guys start to rank organically, which is going to bring in more organic traffic to your site, which is going to start bringing you more customers and more leads. Now, when we talk about ranking organically, I mean in this area right down here, we want to be in this first, second, or third position. When I looked for you guys down here, I wasn't able to find you um, on this first page or the second page, and after that, um, I didn't go any further because generally people don't leave the first page when they're searching for someone that can help them with their services. So it's really important to be ranked up here. Now the last thing that we're going to touch on here is this area right here called the local map pack or the Google My Business. Now how we get here is by having a Google business profile and make sure that it's filled out completely. So your business's name, address, and phone number. You want to have pictures, you want to have reviews from your clients, so make sure you're asking for that. And you want to make sure it's all geotagged properly and uploaded with the correct buyer intent keywords prior to. And then lastly, you want to have your citation in as many directories as possible. So a citation is your business's name, address, and phone number. And a directory is things like Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie's List, Home Advisor, stuff like that. 
So what I would do if I was in your shoes, I would find all the directories that my top competitors are listed in, and I would get myself added to those exact same ones, and then I go above and beyond that. If they're in 150, I'm going to get myself listed into 200, 250 directories, really blow them out of the water. All right, that's going to get you ranked in this first, second, and third position up here. And then updating that content, those buyer intent keywords, and those backlinks is going to get you ranking right up here on this first page in that first, second, and third position. All right, Hector, that's all I've got for you today. I hope that this was helpful. I really look forward to your feedback. Thanks.